five dollars i will dust it off and it'll be so much prettier hello it's jeffrey with real nifty vintage and today i'm here at riverside antique mall in bedford indiana let's go inside here and i know there's actually another antique mall just across the parking lot and we'll head over there when we're done in here all right so i came straight to this booth because this is the one that i always find all the great stuff in oh i like this paperweight though this jellyfish not pretty has that wonderful red background it's 20 dollars, so i won't do it but boy that's beautiful mm. and then of course they have the clear ones too oh that's so great clear one is 14 and then they have this little one and an Ellie Smith for $11. The little compote in green. I love this radio. Ooh, these candy tins are so good. $3. Wow. That's actually uh, a really good size tin. And uh, they're also doing 20% off on Christmas items, which this is. It's Christmas candy, like ribbon candy. Yeah. It's really good. We found some stuff already. There are a couple bluebirds of happiness. Let's see here. Nine dollars. Actually, nine dollars is very approachable for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Oh, this one has its little votive holder. They almost never do. Twelve dollars. Well, I'm gonna do both of those actually. I love that it has the votive holder with it. Oh, good. Yeah, so good. Get in the card, little basket. Oh, I love that skunk planter. It's 12. That's really not bad either. Is that glass? Oh, that is beautiful. We're going to look at that. That is a stunning, stunning color. $26. It's a Viking. It's a Viking platter. Can you imagine like an assortment of pumpkins on here for... Halloween or fall or pine cones. I haven't seen that before. I mean, shipping that's going to be stupid because like, it's just an obnoxious thing, but oh, I'm going to heavily consider this one. But there's also a custard glass. This is Fenton for $20. Little Fenton custard glass. That one probably would glow under black light. There's a, another art glass two dollars what wow you're kidding two dollars i mean wow okay i i i'm i'll double check that there's nothing wrong with it but this is blown glass and it has a little bit of a rougher pontal mark on the bottom but that's you could put like a flamingo in there or a mermaid or a fish and let it just be like a little compote dish for your I mean, a console dish for your... Yeah, I'll look at that, because that's really good. Oh, now these plates down here. Boy, she has some really good stuff. Oh, the Sears catalog, too. 1980. That's so good. These are fun Melmac with the white. They're blue with the white splatter. I love those. You get all of them for $12. So if you want, like, little dessert plates and uh, salad plates... Or all dessert plates, maybe. Depends on how you, <laughs> what you want to do. And then over here, same booth. Look at that. $22 for this Amberina vase. This amber handkerchief vase for $16. And this one, that is stunning. Oh, I bet you that that would glow with the black light, the cadmium. $25. Oh, that's really not bad at all. And then a couple of these safety pin Christmas trees. Oh, and the angel, the little angels for $3. Okay, I don't know how I missed these earlier, but there are a couple of Santa Clauses. These are $49. This is a Schwartz toy. Look at that wide body. He's a bit dirty too. He's a dirty Santa. $49 for that one. And then this other one is $45. Um, and actually, I don't know who did that one. I don't know. I'm not an expert like Barb on her uh, Winky Owl Antiques on the Santa Clauses. It's a fun one. 
little dog. All right, let's keep looking. I decided, you know what? It's just probably not worth the, I, I'm just not gonna deal with that. I mean, I, honestly, the more I look at it, the more I might talk myself into it. Maybe I hadn't made a decision yet, final. But what I did decide is the blue glass is good and I'm gonna get it. Yeah, this is a, it's a, not a huge mall and there's a assortment here of all kinds of different things. So we'll look around in here. And then, like I said, there's another place just, just across the parking lot. And we can head on in there as well. Oh, what's in here? Some little blue ashtrays, hobnail. Okay, they're calling them salt cellars. Well, they probably are. They look like master salts, maybe, because of the size. Salt cellars, you just put your salt in it, your table salt, and you can pinch it out of there for when you're eating. And many times they were sold in sets, like little individual salts. So each person has their very own. So wait a minute. Hey, look here, there's more. So these are milk glass ones, little individual salt cellars. And then this clear pressed glass one right there as well. I mean, my goodness, if you want to collect salt cellars, have fun with that one. There's tons of things you could, you could go any color you want. Dip depression glass, milk glass, carnival glass, all kinds, endless. My gosh, this is like one of the largest of these I've ever seen. $12.50 for metal box with Victorian couple, porcelain inlay. They have written on the tag. But what I usually find are about four or five inches in diameter for powder dishes musical. This one <laughs> is a divided like nut dish or something. That is so unique. Mm. I don't know if that's porcelain or not. I think, I don't believe that is porcelain. I think that's just a, uh, a lithographic print over aluminum, but my gosh. And it, this one is musical too. See this little thing here? That's what stops the, stops the music when you put the lid back on. So whether or not it's depressed. And so it has a wind-up mechanism right there. That's, that's outrageous. I mean, my goodness. I should see if it works. Let's put this out of the way over there. Let's wind her up and see if she has anything to say. Oh no. No, she's very loose. Oh no. He Try turning her about all day long and she's not going to get anywhere. Well, that's okay. It's so cool though. I, um, I'm not going to get it, but, oh, it's so neat. Let's put it back together. There. I guess you could replace the mechanism if you really cared to. Oh, they got the poodles. I used to sell a lot of these. Little poodle family, $16.50 for those in the redware pottery, which is just like terracotta. These are hazel, actually, yes, they're hazel atlas. And uh, pretty sure they call this gay, the gay colors. I know that sounds silly, but they made these in yellow or like reddish orange, green and blue. So there's like four different colors of these creamers and they were promotional they're promotional items that they would, you would get. I, I believe if you did something with detergent, my memory is telling me something about detergent. Back in the day, you know, you got free stuff just by opening a bank account or going grocery shopping. Now you don't get any of that. They even make you pay for a bag. Okay, so $9.50 for the Marigold Carnival glass, uh, um, flower frog, which just means you could put this, say, like in there. This is Indiana glass. It doesn't say that. I think it is Indiana glass, though. And uh, then you got your carnival glass, older than this. This is from about the 60s. This is from about 
20s, 30s. You put that in there like that, put some flowers in it, put your water in, it'll hold your stems up and make it look beautiful. Oh, this butter dish is lovely. I like how it's rounded on top actually. $27.50. Who did that? This is Indiana Glass, Heirloom Series. No, that's that. Whoops. This is, we don't know. Oh, Flora Gold by Jeanette. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, so Jeanette Co. Jeanette is one of the older companies. This could be from the 30s or so. Indiana Glass with the Hob Star in it. That's a butter dish. I found these little Anna Lee dolls. You know, it wasn't that long ago that I scoffed at these things, but they kind of grow on you. I mean, the little creepy face. This one's a, a uh, we call that thing that jumps over you when you're sleeping. A sheep, and it's eight dollars, twenty percent off too. I think that would be so fun for Easter time. So I think I'll get this little guy. Look at the octopus though. That one's green. 2013 octopus chef no less forty dollars and this lion there's a Kris Kringle back there huh that's so good oh and this lovely deer oh wow how big is that that's so neat I like that it's white with the gold oh no there's no price on it gift giving reindeer that's I like that one a lot I do okay I guess I'll just, you know, I think I'll get the little sheep though. Cause it's, it's the next holiday coming up. Like the whole Easter thing and spring. Really looking forward to that. A little bit of Longa burger up top. And some lovely pottery, some Majolica. That's nice. This one here is Majolica. You can tell cause of the glaze. Has that sort of sheen to it. So pretty. It's not 325 that's crossed out. It's now only $50. There you go, and then 20%. Okay, interesting change of events. So I left my basket in there. Why? Well, I'm gonna head over there across the way like I kept alluding to. We're gonna see what they've got. While I'm in there, I know the vendor, the, remember the vendor, do you remember that time? When I was in there and the, the one booth with all the great stuff pretty much, right? She is on her way, I, I heard, with more stuff. So I said to myself, you come back here and get that stuff. So I'm going to head over there and then I'll come back over here, see what she replenished, and then check out over here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. All right, so let's head into White River Arts and Antiques, which is the other place that I wanted to check out. We're gonna go on inside here and see if we can find anything fantastic for resale. Let's see here. Ooh, so good. That safe has been sold. Oh gosh, it's an old business adding machine. Isn't that fun? Now it's just a giant paperweight. $50. I guess we'll get a cart. Maybe, do you think? Yeah, we'll just get a rollable one. That way I don't have to carry something and keep putting it down. Oh boy, oh, it's a little tricky sometimes. There we go, got it. Oh my gosh, I am so pleasantly pleased to see this. So this is an aluminum tree. I have been looking for a little tree like this. And look here. And it's interesting, it's really interesting because this is known as a pom-pom tree where it flares out on the ends like this, sort of like a pom-pom. And it's the same tree that I have, but smaller. So this one is like a, it's like a three, three or so foot aluminum tree. And I have one that's, well, probably about four, like five feet tall. So this would be a very good little match for it. It's $70. And I don't think that's too atrocious. I mean, hmm. I do not know. I wish, well, it doesn't have a box or anything. That's one downside. I'm gonna think about this. I'll do a little research on eBay to see what I think, but I don't think 70 is too bad. It's just no box, but 
I like that it's tiny. Okay, so I put it up front. I, from what I see online, I think that's a good price. So I, um, I put it up front here and I'll continue. I need to get back to the basket though. And 99% uh, sure I'll get it. So yeah. How fun. So it's one of these color wheels and this one is $125 firm. I have a color wheel currently at the house and that one is on our, you know, our main main aluminum tree. Uh, but yeah, these things are really, really fun. They rotate obviously and then they can see that you got blue, yellow, green, and then red. So it rotates around. This is really cool. It's this large round flower jar. It says flower and it kind of looks like a big old like pumpkin or melon. It is $275. I haven't really seen that before. It's very unique. I wonder if they made different ones with different like, I don't know, like grains or sugar and stuff. That's so fun. Must be pretty rare because I mean, I haven't seen it before either. It says circa 1905, made by Smith. No, I can't read through there. It's made by, oh, Sneath? I, can you read the, I can't. S-N-E-A-T-H, I think. Sneath? Or sheath? Sheath glass? Well, that's just fun. It's really sad, but I'm not gonna get it. So as I was looking it over, I realized that the stand had been glued together. They glued that stand together. And then I was looking and then they actually, that's what somebody did. They glued the, the, the branches in the holes. So you, you can't even really take it apart. I mean, maybe if you got a pair of pliers and you like messed with it, but I'm just like, mm. just seems like an awful lot of hassle for kind of a project piece between not the right stand, no box. Uh, eh. I don't know. I just kind of talked myself out of it because of that. Some of these pom-poms need a little help. But anyway, darn. Well, I'm not having a ton of luck over here. And I kind of remember that from last time. I mean, outside of that tree, that would have been a really cool thing to get. I haven't really found a whole lot that would be very, very exciting for resale. And maybe it's just because I feel like I'm almost biding time to go back over to the other place and see what else she's bringing. So I'll look a little bit more and then I think it'll be time to go over there and take a look. Windmill teapot. Those are always fun. It's kind of like in the style of cottage wear and that would be made in England. Although this one I can tell you is made in Japan from about the 1930s. So we've got made in Japan on the bottom there and then the one behind it. Okay, so we're back in the booth and I already noticed this lovely piece of Van Briggle with the butterflies on it. I love picking up Van Briggle and I hope it's a great price. Let's see. It is $40. Yeah, well, ooh, my battery's dying. I need to change my battery. That is so pretty. But also, I love this. I, I have sold one of these a long time ago and it looks a lot like Morton pottery three dollars as is what did they do looks like there's some coloring at the bottom of it yeah i wonder if you can get that off why did they do that somebody did that somebody had fun with the pink paint uh -huh. huh i mean will this come off on the front at least i don't know how did they do that that's such a shame. I love these planters like this one and for Valentine's Day, which is coming up soon. Well, not soon, but soon enough. And she put another Bluebird of Happiness for $10. I'll get this one too. The votive holder. Look at the poodle. This is left in. Little ashtray for $4. I haven't sold a poodle item in so long. So I have to get it because I, I just love them. I do, I just do. So we'll take the Bluebird. Oh, here's one of these. This is Sean E. And it is $5 for the little pixie planner. It's been so long. Oh, I must get it. I must. It's a shame about the Van Briggle. I really do enjoy Van Briggle, but that's kind of higher for me to buy for resale. But I'll get the Bluebird. Oh, there's another one over there. 
matching Shawnee. This one's 10? Wait a minute. What? Whoops. Hey now. This is five. I like this one more. It's blue. My goodness. Okay, well, I'll get this one. Let's see here. I don't think anything... Actually, there's a little bit that changed. These are these are now here. Those are pretty. Look at the big left in... Uh, actually, no, that is a PY Japan, if my memory is correct. And it's a big old lemon. Oh, and this one. This is as is. Holt Howard for $36. So pretty. Flamingo hair pins. My goodness. These are $4. I don't need any hair pins. It does remind me of my grandma, though, because she was a hairdresser and had all them little clips and things like that. Ooh, that is so cool. This atomic, I think it's like sewing needles or something, but that is so cool. Look at that graphic on there. Yeah, these are sewing needles for $4. That's such a neat graphic, atomic. There's a few others back here as well. Neat, okay, well, I think I think I've got what I'm gonna get, so I think it's time to go. We did so good. Oh, let me look at this acrylic flower real quick. $19.50. Oh, I didn't even notice these over here. All the poodles? You're kidding. I like this one. That's I like the little sweater it has on for $8. Ooh, here's a, I love, I love picking up these. I just, I'm a fan. It's really dusty though. Oh, they marked it down to $5. Five dollars. I will dust it off and it'll be so much prettier. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So it's this red ruby glass with the silver overlay. This is Silver City Flanders. Oh, it's a, it's a molded glass with the silver overlay. I love it. Let's put that in the pile and I guess we're gonna go ahead and check out then. Well, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I found some interesting stuff here. And all in all, a great time at the two antique malls, although could have been better at the second one with that darn aluminum tree. I thought it was my, my day. I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.